Yo, hoop fans, your sideline sage, Tips and Upstreams, is lacing up once again. On deck, deep dives into the freshest NBA clashes, ready to set the planks ablaze. But before we jump the ball, be sure to hammer that subscribe on our YouTube channel to keep hooked with our sharp forecasts and prime selections. All right, let's bounce into today's NBA crystal ball reads. The first prediction for today is for the game between the Charlotte Hornets and Detroit Pistons. Tonight's showdown in the NBA pits the Charlotte Hornets against the Detroit Pistons at Little Caesars Arena, deep in the heart of Motor City. For what's shaping up to be a duel in the Eastern Conference's cellar, the Hornets, parked in 13th with a 16.48 tally, and the Pistons, rooted to the conference's floor with a 10.53 mark, have both been off their game this season. Yet, Detroit has outmaneuvered Charlotte in their previous encounters, teeing up a nail-biter tonight. Riding the wave of a recent triumph over the Brooklyn Nets, which cut short a six-loss skid, Charlotte's been grinding, averaging 107.2 points on 45.8% shooting. Despite this, their offense has been stuck in a rut, ranking 29th in scoring, with their shot-making from downtown and overall field goal percentage dragging them down. This recent win, however, might just be the spark they need to turn up the heat against a Pistons squad facing their uphill battle. The Pistons, reeling from a heavy hit against the Dallas Mavericks, put up 112.3 points on 47% shooting on a good day, showing glimpses of what could be. But it's their defense, or the lack thereof, letting in 121.1 points per game, that's been their Achilles heel, despite holding their ground against the three-point assault. In their home court face-offs, Detroit's advantage hasn't consistently delivered, struggling on Mondays as the home pick and against teams from the Southeast. The Hornets, too, find it rough going on the road, especially against Eastern Conference and Central Division teams on a downslide. Weighing both squads' recent form, stats, and their Detroit duels, tonight's match is anyone's game. The Hornets, despite their trials, have shown grit, managing to stay competitive. Facing the Pistons' struggle to finish strong and their porous defense, Charlotte might just have an edge. The Pistons are the bookies' favorites by a 3.5-point spread, with an over-under set at 218 points. Given both teams' offensive woes and their latest outings, expect a defensive battle to dictate the pace. But with Charlotte's slight resurgence and Detroit's dubious homestand, the Hornets are well-placed to beat the spread, making them the savvy choice. So, as neither squad will be bragging about this season, Charlotte's recent upswing and Detroit's home court woes might just tip the balance in the Hornets' favor for a closely contested game with Charlotte expected to outperform the four-point spread. Betting-wise, my money's on the Charlotte Hornets to cover. The next prediction for today is for the game between Phoenix Suns and Cleveland Cavaliers. As the NBA season hits its stride, we're gearing up for an electrifying showdown at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, with the Phoenix Suns squaring off against the Cleveland Cavaliers on a Monday night spectacle. Both squads are navigating through their own sets of hurdles, with the Suns eager to rebound from a recent setback against the Celtics and the Cavaliers, riding high from a triumph over the Timberwolves, gearing up for this face-off on the heels of a back-to-back. -back. This clash holds extra weight as both teams vie for strategic positions within their conference standings. Despite taking a hit against the Celtics, the Suns have been displaying grit, racking up an average of 117 points with impressive accuracy, hitting 49.2% from the field, while also putting up a solid defensive front holding opponents to 114.3 points on 46.3% shooting. With stars like Kevin Durant and Devin Booker leading the charge, the Suns' offensive might is a force to be reckoned with. Booker's anticipated return to the lineup is set to give the Suns a crucial lift as they jostle for position in the tightly contested Western Conference, underlining the high stakes of each matchup in their quest for a prime playoff berth. Meanwhile, the Cavaliers, with a strong showing on their home court, face their challenges, notably with key players like Donovan Mitchell and Evan Mobley sidelined due to injuries. Their recent outings have been highlighted by Jarrett Allen's standout performances, showcasing the team's depth and resilience. However, missing Mitchell and Mobley could significantly tilt their game strategy against the Suns. Analyzing head-to-head -head stats and recent form at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, the Cavaliers seem to have a slight advantage banking on their robust defensive play and a track record of success against Western Conference foes. Yet, 
the Suns' commendable record as favorites against Central Division opponents and their ability to perform on the road are factors that can't be ignored. Key to this matchup will be the Suns' sharpshooting, especially from deep, and their knack for pulling down rebounds, an area where both teams have demonstrated strength. The Cavaliers' performance in back-to-back -back games, coupled with their injury challenges, poses questions about their capacity to maintain their defensive rigor and score against a high-caliber Phoenix squad. Taking these dynamics into account, the Suns' depth and the rallying return of pivotal players like Booker could sway the outcome in their favor, particularly against a Cavaliers team contending with significant injury setbacks. The Suns' edge in shooting precision and rebounding ability earmarks them as the frontrunners to clinch the victory and beat the spread. In light of these factors, with the Suns showing resilience and the Cavaliers facing critical injuries and the strain of a back-to-back, -back, Phoenix is primed to leverage their strengths and surpass the 4.5-point spread. While the total points line of 222.5 is a tight call, the Suns' scoring capacity and the Cavaliers' current predicaments could tilt the game towards a total just shy of the mark, given the defensive capabilities of both teams. To wrap it up, in this strategic contest for dominance, the Phoenix Suns are forecasted to come out on top, overcoming obstacles and utilizing their depth and scoring efficiency to outpace the Cleveland Cavaliers and secure the spread. My wager is on the Phoenix Suns to triumph and cover. The next prediction for today is for the game between Dallas Mavericks and Chicago Bulls. In the bustling heart of the Windy City at the United Center, we're gearing up for a basketball showdown as the high-flying Dallas Mavericks set their sights on the Chicago Bulls, a squad known for flipping the script, particularly against teams from the Southwest Division. Coming off a commanding win against the Pistons, the Mavericks are showcasing some serious offensive chops, dropping an average of 119 points with sniper-like precision. Luka Doncic is on a historic tear, not just making his mark on the game, but shattering records with his series of 30-point triple-doubles, showcasing the Mavericks' offensive juggernaut. Kyrie Irving's knack for consistent scoring and the team's skill in converting turnovers into baskets underscore their strengths. With Dallas lighting up the scoreboard and boasting a 37.3% efficiency from downtown, they're a force to be reckoned with when they're on a roll. Meanwhile, the Bulls have shown they can withstand pressure and secure victories, recently taking down both the Jazz and Warriors. Anchored by DeMar DeRozan, with solid support from Kobe White and Nikola Vucevic, their scoring, though not quite at Dallas's level, represents a well-rounded offense. Yet, a recent slip against the Clippers has exposed some cracks, especially in crunch time. The Bulls' rebounding game and defensive hustle limiting opponents to 36.5% from beyond the arc, are key to keeping the Mavericks' scoring machine in check. Looking at past encounters in Chicago, the Bulls have traditionally had the edge over the Mavericks, defying expectations in recent matchups. This history, combined with their resilience after road losses, points to a hard-fought contest ahead. The Bulls' track record against Southwest Division foes and their penchant for high-scoring showdowns against Western Conference teams at home suggests they're prepped and ready for this challenge. Dallas, on the other hand, thrives in night games against teams below 500 and consistently covers the spread in road games against Eastern Conference teams with losing records. Their sharpshooting and rebounding prowess tip the scales in their favor for this face-off. But the ultimate deciders may go beyond mere stats. The Bulls' home strength and historical dominance in this matchup facing a Mavericks team whose last victory in Chicago came in 2018 shouldn't be overlooked. With both teams eyeing playoff positions and continuing their winning ways, we're in for a game of intense competition and strategic depth. Weighing all these elements, including Dallas's superior offensive metrics but acknowledging the Bulls' advantage at home and their historical edge, the game is shaping up to be neck and neck. Despite being the underdogs, the Bulls have a knack for stepping up especially on their turf. Predicting the Chicago Bulls to cover the five-point spread seems a solid bet, given their grit and home performance against Dallas. While the Dallas Mavericks as road favorites might raise eyebrows, they're poised to challenge a Chicago Bulls team searching for consistency. This clash is anyone's guess. The Mavericks, with their explosive offense, haven't clinched a victory in Chicago since 2018. Just when it seems the Bulls might falter, 
they rebound. Despite the odds, the Bulls' recent home performances against Dallas paint a different picture. They've been the underdogs thrice and victorious each time. My money's on the Bulls to outperform the spread, anticipate a high-scoring game, with both teams pushing the total points above the projected threshold and the Bulls beating the five-point spread. My wager, the Chicago Bulls will cover. The next prediction for today is for the game between Golden State Warriors and San Antonio Spurs. In the electric atmosphere of NBA showdowns, the clash at the Frostbank Center between the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs is gearing up to be a spectacle. Both squads have ridden a roller coaster this season, yet their recent performances and past clashes give us a glimpse into the potential fireworks. The Warriors, despite a setback in three of their recent four games and missing their star player Stephen Curry for this duel, are known for their comeback spirit and precision from long range, ranking them ninth in the league for three-point shooting. Conversely, the Spurs have hit a stride, claiming victory in three of their last five games, a testament to their enhanced shooting accuracy and team dynamics. Diving into the team's recent form, the Warriors' offense remains formidable without Curry, with Clay Thompson and Jonathan Kaminga consistently lighting up the scoreboard. However, their defense has been leaking, particularly around the basket and in securing rebounds, areas ripe for the Spurs to capitalize on. Fresh from a surprise victory against the Warriors, the Spurs are stepping onto the court with an air of confidence. Their sharpshooting, highlighted by a 51% success rate from the field in their latest game, poses a threat to the Warriors' defensive setup. The impact players for the Spurs, Jeremy Sochin and Malachi Branham, along with their rebounding strength, could turn the tide. Considering their historical matchups at the Frostbank Center, the Spurs boast a dominant record against the Warriors, with 11 consecutive home victories following a road win. This stat, along with the Spurs' current momentum, might sway the prediction in their favor, especially with the Warriors faltering in Curry's absence. Yet, the tenacity of Golden State and the Spurs' defensive hiccups, particularly in containing scoring in the paint and beyond the arc, should not be discounted. The stage is set for a nail-biter. The Warriors' prowess in three-point territory and on the offensive glass could compensate for their defensive shortcomings. The Spurs need to leverage their home turf and recent form to outmaneuver the Warriors. Nonetheless, with Curry sidelined for Golden State and the Spurs' defense showing variability, the matchup may veer towards a more defense-oriented game than expected, with both teams recently tightening their defensive play. Taking into account the stats, historical encounters, and present form of both teams, this game is a conundrum for predictors. The Warriors have demonstrated resilience and a knack for rebounding after a home loss, while the Spurs have shown grit and the ability to defy odds against Pacific Division foes. Key factors influencing the outcome will be the Warriors' efficiency from beyond the arc and the Spurs' success in exploiting the defensive weaknesses of Golden State, particularly inside. Given the Spurs' home advantage and their positive momentum, matched with the Warriors' adaptability without Curry, the game promises intense competition. However, the seasoned execution and pressure handling of the Warriors, alongside their eagerness to recover from recent dips, might give them a slight upper hand, especially in covering the spread. The projected total points, considering both teams' latest efforts and Curry's absence from the Warriors' lineup, suggests a preference for a lower score. Aligning with a trend towards more robust defense from both sides recently. My expectation, though not a prediction, is for a closely fought battle where the Warriors just managed to cover the spread in a low-scoring game. But my wager is on the total points remaining below 228.5. The next prediction for today is for the game between Toronto Raptors and Denver Nuggets. In the much-anticipated showdown at the Ball Arena, the Toronto Raptors are gearing up to take on the Denver Nuggets in a clash that's expected to keep fans on the edge of their seats. The Raptors, despite hitting a rough patch with losses against the Pelicans, Suns, and Trailblazers, are stepping onto the court with a solid offensive game, dropping an average of 114.2 points with a shooting accuracy of 47.5% from the field. Yet, their defensive game raises eyebrows, surrendering 118.2 points at a 48.7% clip. The Nuggets, on a hot streak with recent triumphs over the Celtics and Jazz, are notching up 114.9 points on an impressive 49.5% shooting efficiency with their defense holding the fort at 110.5 points 
on 46.5% shooting. The Raptors are navigating through choppy waters with key players Bruce Brown, Jacob Poltel, and Scotty Barnes on the sidelines, and their recent form has been anything but inspiring. Their Achilles heel seems to be perimeter defense, letting opponents sink trays at a 37.7% rate, a critical vulnerability against a Nuggets squad that's netting 37% from downtown. Denver, sitting pretty as the Western Conference's second seed, has been a model of consistency, clinching eight of their last nine matches. With Nikola Jokic leading the charge, their offense is in top gear, and their defense, ranking seventh in points conceded, adds to their formidable presence. Plus, the Nuggets' stronghold at the Ball Arena, known for its daunting atmosphere and solid against the spread record, adds to their advantage. The face-offs and recent stats in Denver's favor highlight their advantage. The Raptors' fast-paced game and breakaway points, despite topping league charts, may fall short against Denver's tactical play and defensive schemes. Facing the Raptors' recent struggles, injury setbacks, and the Nuggets' commanding form, Denver is tipped to notch another victory. However, the Raptors, known for their grit, might just cover the spread, given Denver's defensive hiccups against high-octane teams. Considering the 14-point spread and the over-under line at 225.5, this battle is expected to be tighter than what the spread indicates, with Toronto's playoff hunger and Denver's strategic player rotation in play. Expect the Nuggets to emerge victorious, but for the Raptors to beat the spread in a scoring bonanza that flirts with the over-under threshold. Despite the Raptors grappling with absentees and the Nuggets stepping in full strength and in fine form, Denver is the safe bet for victory, but Toronto stands a good chance at covering the spread. Here, I'm leaning towards an unexpected twist. Nikola Jokic might not shine as bright, primarily due to his close ties with Raptors coach Darko Rajakovic. Betting on the Raptors to cover the 14-point spread and Jokic to stay below 27.5 points seems like the savvy move. The last prediction for today is for the game between Boston Celtics and Portland Trailblazers. As the NBA season hits its stride, the Boston Celtics are gearing up to face the Portland Trailblazers at the Moda Center, promising a spectacle that will have Hoops fans perched at the very edge of their seats. The Celtics, riding high on the momentum of a gritty victory over the Suns, are laser-focused on securing their position at the pinnacle of the Eastern Conference. Sporting an impressive record and bouncing back from their brief stumble against the Cavs and Nuggets, the Celtics are brimming with confidence. The trio of Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and a possibly constrained Kristaps Porzingis, due to health woes, stands as a basketball behemoth, showcasing a blend of scoring finesse defensive rigidity, and a flair for pivotal moments. Conversely, the Portland Trailblazers, while navigating a season of ups and downs, have lit up the court with moments of sheer brilliance. And Fernie Simons and a potentially sidelined Jeremy Grant, due to injury, are the cornerstones of the Blazers' attack, their recent triumph over the Raptors igniting a beacon of hope in a season fraught with challenges. Portland's knack for breaking losing streaks underlines their capacity to defy expectations, with Simon's sharpshooting from distance being a key weapon in their offensive arsenal. In comparison, the Celtics outshine with superior scoring, shooting precision, and rebounding capabilities, essential factors driving their season's dominance. Leading the league with an exceptional point differential, their prowess in overshadowing and overpowering adversaries on the court is unparalleled. Meanwhile, the Trailblazers have grappled with defensive efficiency and playmaking, lagging in assists and conceding high-scoring averages to opponents. Historically, encounters in Portland have tipped in favor of the Celtics, who have demonstrated resilience and versatility on foreign courts. Their bench depth, even in the absence of principal players, has emerged as a significant strength, delivering impactful performances across the board. The Blazers, despite showing promise in bursts, have been plagued by injuries and inconsistency, especially in game finales. Injuries could be a critical factor in this showdown, with both squads potentially missing key contributors. The Celtics' bench depth, the Blazers' dependence on Simons, and the uncertain status of Grant could dramatically shape the outcome. Boston's defensive ferocity and bench scoring efficiency are likely to tip the scales in their favor, even in the hostile territory of the road. Taking into account team dynamics, recent form, and tactical aspects of the matchup, the Celtics are set to continue their dominant streak. Their adaptability, combined with Portland's defensive shortcomings and lineup uncertainties, positions Boston as the clear frontrunner. Despite any hypothetical scenarios, 
the Celtics' bench depth overwhelmingly surpasses the Trailblazers' starting five. Anticipating the Celtics' bench to seize this opportunity to shine, I'm confident they'll not only show up, but also comfortably surpass the 7.5-point spread. My money's on the Boston Celtics to dominate.